Hi, Decker Dolphins. Welcome back to another week of virtual learning and a new art project. Last week in my video, I told you that we are studying the country of Panama for Hispanic Heritage Month, and we are going to be creating a type of art called a mola, which is originally from Panama. A mola is traditionally made out of cloth and it's very colorful and usually there is an animal represented in the middle of a mola. Um, there's also lots of vibrant shapes and lines and designs um, that are seen on molas and they are made out of fabric and uh, created by the Kuna tribe that lives in Panama. So today we're going to be using the supplies that we have at home uh, to create our mola. Today we're going to draw the animal that goes along with our mola and we're also going to add some of the details. Uh, this is going to be a two-part video. Um, I'm going to insert a few pictures and examples of molas from Panama so that you can see what they look like and uh, see all the beautiful colors and shapes and get an idea of what we're going to try to create today. Okay, third and fourth graders, your animal that you will be drawing today for your mola is going to be a frog. So we're going to do a step-by-step -step drawing together. I'm going to show you how to draw a frog and you'll follow along with me. Afterwards, we're going to add some more details and designs to our picture to make it look more like a mola. All right, the supplies that you need today is a piece of paper and something to draw with. It can be a marker or a pencil or a pen, whatever you're most comfortable with. Remember, if you use a pencil, you're going to have a better time fixing your mistakes because you can erase pencil, but it's a lot harder to fix your mistakes if you're using a marker or a pen. So um, go ahead and gather your supplies and we'll get started. All right, we're gonna get started with our frog drawing. Remember that we don't wanna draw it too big on our paper because we wanna leave room on the edges around our frog to add details and designs and patterns um, for the mola. Okay, um, I'm drawing a small to medium sized frog. Uh, it doesn't, I don't want it to be too small or I won't be able to see it very well. So I'm gonna do a good medium sized frog. I'm gonna find the center of my paper first and draw my frog in the center. All right, I'm gonna start with two circles, kind of medium sized circles. And then I'm going to add a little curved line, kind of like a curved rainbow line in the middle of those eyes. And I'm gonna extend that line. I'm gonna jump over the eye and I'm gonna extend that line down and around. Same thing for the other side. Extend that line down and around. Don't make them connect quite yet. We're going to do that later. Next, if you'd like to, you can add some detail for your frog's eyes. So I'm going to make the 
inner part of his eyes. And I'm also going to add the eyelid. All right, next I'm going to add his legs. I'm going to draw a big kind of curved rainbow line. I'm going to do the same for the other side. So I didn't make uh, this connect to anything. I just left it open at the bottom. Next, we're going to work on his mouth because that's just a cute and easy thing to do. It's a cute little smile. So I'm just fixing his eyes. And then we're going to work on his arms. So we left this part open so that his arms could come down here. I'm drawing two parallel lines that are vertical. So vertical means going up and down. And those are gonna be his front legs. I'm gonna add two lines that go out like that, two diagonal lines. Then I'm just gonna do another little zigzag line in the middle for his feet. You can make his feet look. Okay, next we're gonna add his feet. So I'm gonna do a curve line again. I'm gonna do the letter M, so a zigzag line. And I'm gonna go back up here to his body. So again, on this side, curve line down, letter M, and then connect up here. So straight line or curve line back up to his body. There's also a line here in between his front legs that should connect. All right, and if you'd like, you can also add the detail on his belly. And there is our frog. The next step is to make it look a little bit more like a mola. So I showed you some examples last week and um, I put a few other examples in this video. And when you're looking at those examples of molas from Panama, we see that um, it looks like there's lots of layers uh, and lots of designs and colors and shapes that are um, part of the mola. So right now we just have a picture of a frog. We need to add some more details to make it resemble a mola. I'm going to start by adding a line around my frog. And this line is going to be kind of like a bubble going around my frog and I'm leaving space between my frog and this line. These lines shouldn't be too close to my frog. It's just like I'm drawing a bubble around him. So don't get too close to your frog. If you need to twist your paper, that's okay too. And just follow the curves of your frog. All right, so now we have one continuous line going around our frog and it looks like there's uh, something behind him and we want it to look like there's layers on our mola because traditionally molas are made out of fabric and the fabric is layered on top of each other. So there might be one, two, three, or four layers of fabric that are sewn on top. We 
don't have fabric to work with, but we do have paper to work with. And that's why we're going to be drawing some bubbles around our frog. So now I'm adding a second layer, another line. Think of it like that bubble line. And I'm following the same shape that I've had drawn before. And I'm just leaving some room between my line and the frog. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, now I have my frog layer one and layer two. I'm going to do three layers total. I need to add one more bubble layer around my frog. Okay, I have three layers around my frog now and it's starting to look more like a mola, more like the examples that I've shown you. The only thing that's missing now is the designs that we see on the molas. These are made with lines and shapes and they are a big part of the molas. So we're gonna be adding some designs and shapes around your frog. They can be any shape that you want. So I'm gonna draw a triangle here and I'm just gonna add some different lines and designs. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple and easy. And remember that yours does not have to look just like mine. I would love to see you be creative and come up with your own design and your own pattern um, that you have put on your mola. I think I'm gonna do a circle here, maybe a zigzag line, maybe another triangle here. Okay, um, remember when we added the layers with the lines? We're gonna try and do the same thing for the shapes and the designs that we just added. So I'm going to add a little bit more and I'm gonna do the same thing where I'm adding an extra line around my design just like I did for the frogs. I'm doing a bubble line around my shapes. Now, if you have some extra room on the top or the sides, you can also add some smaller designs. So I think I'm just gonna add a few smaller circles to fill in the rest of my mola. You could also do a different shape, like a square. All right, guys. See you next time. Thanks.